Hey everyone, my name is Bo from GemVision and today I want to walk you through a guided tour of a software that we've developed called Matrix Gold. So one, one thing to kind of keep in mind when you're watching this video is that our, the software Matrix Gold was developed with complete customization in mind, all the way down from the UI up to the models that each individual designer will create. So thanks for tuning in, sit back and hope you enjoy. Okay, so now that we're in the software, you can see that it's got the look and feel of your average CAD software. So up at the top, we have what's called our categories. So these categories are going to be the buckets that each command set lives. As you can see, we have different categories for different commands. Within those categories, we have our individual commands. Now these commands, you can move and relocate to your liking and however you want to lay them out, you can do that. From here, you can see we have all our panels on the left and right side of the screen. Now panels are a new feature in Matrix Gold. Now these panels are just an area of your UI that pertains to a certain subject. For instance, at the top, you can see we have a quick commands panel. So these are going to be all the commands that you can do quickly. Now by default, we have a single tab, but we can add another tab right here. We can rename it, maybe a curves. And then if we want to add any quick commands from our curves, we can just drag in. So we can have a bunch of these panels out if we want, or we can even adjust the default as well. The next one is going to be the display mode. Now, if I just add an object in here somewhere, we can show you what a display mode does. So by default, it's going to be the theme or the coloring of your viewport. Different display modes will showcase different things, right? So uh, some display modes may be plastic and better for modeling. Some may be more of a render view for uh, showing your customer what the finished piece would look like and some are very stylized like this one is our monochrome and if I apply a different layer to it you can see it'll change additionally the layers are just a way to stay organized while you're modeling and then projects right here projects are going to be a way for you to save inside of the software so your full saves will be your version 1 version 2 version 3 of that model and then your job bags are going to be your iterative saves in between those versions over here on the right you'll see we have our dynamic commands panel now this uh, panel is very important inside of matrix gold. So anytime we design a ring that has parametric history um, Behind the scenes you can see we get a little tab that opens up that'll show what that command does now whenever we're stringing together different commands You can see this history tree will start to build out and now whenever we have a finished band complete we can update using this dynamic commands panel right so that's kind of the power behind matrix gold uh, if built correctly the dynamic history allows you to flex your design now on top of that you can add different panels right here so if we want to maybe add our metal weights panel and our gym report what these will do is create a tab system because they are one on top of another now if i want to weigh this one i can calculate and here are the metal weights in grams and pennies and then if i put a gym out here i'll duplicate you can see if I go to the gym report and hit calculate, I will get all of those diamonds and gems that I just put in uh, listed out for me. Now we can also move these panels around. So if I want to move the panel over here, maybe below the display modes, I can move it and relocate. Maybe I want the layers over here. Well, I can move, relocate that down here. So this is part of that complete customization that I was alluding to in the beginning. Now, if, if I want to return back to my default UI, I can always go into the view tab and reset that window layout and it'll go back to our default. And you can see we've added two. I don't particularly use these, so I will just close those out. Now I alluded to parametric history, but inside matrix gold, 
if we want to design with curves and then uh, build the same way that we used to using profiles and extractions all of this stick building you still can you know we can go in here and do a traditional uh, sweep one and complete that you can still build this way but we just added the parametric history behind the scenes um, just so you have that added benefit of flexibility now to showcase what that means i will go ahead and just build a simple french set band so we need a ring rail because we are going to build a ring and then we want a profile placer right well inside profile placer we have our library of profiles and i'm just going to choose one and what we can do is adjust the width, make sure the height is good, and I'll bring him down to the bottom. Okay, so whenever I complete, I can now do a sweep one, select my ring rail and my profile and press enter. And now you can see I have just a simple band. So from here, we need to put gems on our band. Um, but in order to put gems, we need to give those gems a location. So there's an extract ISO curve command that we can run to place those gems. So now we can run our gem on curve, right? We extracted an ISO curve, so we can now put our gems on that curve. And here you can see we have our gems. We'll just drag them all the way around like this. And then we can check. So right here, you can see we have 24. And if we go to the other side, we can see they are 1.3s. Let's go to about 1.5s. And with French set, we want a little bit of spacing between them. So I want to, I want to point my culets at my surface. So I want to select that band as my target object and then pull those gems into our surface. Now we want just the tops of the tables to be showing and press enter. Now I want them inside of my band because the metal that surrounds the gems will eventually become the prongs and the seats that hold, you know, for French set. So let's do a quick graver cut down the middle and press enter to complete then we can do our micro prong cuts on these stones right here i want to change my profile to be more of a scallop shape which is this kind of rounded shape so i can select that and now we can adjust the size of this so i'll make these a little bit smaller and not as deep and then also give them a little bit of a bend and if we go into our wireframe display mode, we can see, okay, so let's go back to our plastic mode and complete those. So we need to run micro prong cutter one more time, except this time we're gonna choose the between gem option. We're gonna make our length go all the way through the band and reduce, and we're gonna reduce the width. And I wanna change my shape so I want to get this sharp number eight because that'll give me a nice curvature to my prongs, which you will see in one sec whenever I make it taller and wider. So you can see the cutting out of this shape will eventually give my prongs a little bit of curvature. So we'll do something like that and press enter to complete. Now for this, we need one more cutter and that's gonna be our gem cuts. So when I do that, you can see by default, it'll load pilot holes or azures, but we can always go into our style sheets. And now our style sheets are gonna be a little library of pieces um, that you can load in per command. Okay, so let's make our girdle at 100 and make this at about 90. And now I can press enter. All right, so the only thing left to do is a Boolean operation. Now a Boolean essentially means I'm going to cut one color from the other color. So when I select the shank and then my second surface will be my cutters. 
you can see whenever I complete the command, I now have my French set. Now, what, what I alluded to in the beginning about what makes Matrix Gold so powerful, right, is that parametric history. Now, let's say you had this model saved into your collections. Okay, I have it saved now. Now let's say we get a new customer that walks through the door that wants something very similar or she wants smaller stones and more of them or larger stones and less of them, right? Well, what we can do is open those collections, right? We can go into our collections folder, find that file and import him in. And now that he's imported, all of these dynamic commands are adjustable because of how we built this model. Now, if I go in there and edit those gem on curves to say, maybe you want 1.75. You can see it'll snap and everything will update. Let's say they may want more stones. Well, I can drag that down and then I can drag this one down and you can see the entire model has been updated to fit more stones and larger stones. But not only that, let's say the customer is a smaller finger size. Well, we can take this and drag it down and you can see everything updates accordingly. So that's kind of the power behind Matrix Gold. Now, as I said in the beginning, you can always build with curves and, and objects if you want. Uh, the parametric history is there if you need it. All right, so now that our model's complete, we need to talk about the other aspect of jewelry, which is selling it, right? So within Matrix Gold, we have a render studio. That way you can present your customer with lifelike renders. So to do this, I want to go back to my four view and launch my render studio, which I just so happen to have launched already. And you can see it over here, which is on top of our dynamic commands panel. So the render studio is quite nice. You can see there's a vast library of materials that you can apply and you can even create your own. The way to start this is to choose a general style and hit the apply button. I also like to change my perspective view to a ray trace view. That way we can get a brief render preview. We will go through here and choose materials to apply like this 10k white gold we need to choose our gems by default the diamonds are already chosen but we can choose any one of these stones now from here we need to choose our resolution and our passes once we frame our image we can hit the render button And there you go. You can have this render where you can save it locally to your desktop and send it out to your customer. Now, the other thing that really separates Gym Vision and Matrix Gold is going to be our after purchase support and training. So if we head over to gymvision.com and then into our education, you can see we have a vast array of different training options. These are certifications that you can take virtually or in person. And we have three separate levels, one being beginner, three being the master class. So we also have an online platform where we post all of our tutorial videos. That's going to be our Matrix Gold Online Academy. There is over 400 different tutorials that showcase different workflows, different models that you can complete. And then we also have one-on-one -on -one training sessions, either remote or virtually. And these are a good option for more model specific requests. After that, we have our tech team. So our tech team is here every weekday and you can reach them at any one of these emails or phone numbers. They'll be there to remote in and help you with any technical issues you may have. So I hope you've enjoyed this guided tour and demo. Please contact Jim Vision if you have any questions. Again, my name is Bo and thanks for watching.